Welcome to another video. I'm Andrew. One of my passions is railway photography. All this traffic noise. If only I could make it stop. That's better. Now, one of my passions is railway photography. And today I'm in Leeds, just outside the station. And I'm going to try and catch a Class 91 LNER with all this traffic and try and make a bit of an artistic shot about it. Now I've got the camera set up on this little tripod looking at the railway bridge and the uh, hopefully lined up right in the middle of the dual carriageway. Now my plan is I want to try and catch an LNER, um, a Zoomer or a 91 or whatever going across the bridge and I'm going to freeze the train but then I'm going to take a number of shots a little bit later on as the, as the light drops and try and get some light trails in all the cars. So go for a real slow shutter speed and try and get all the car uh, tail lights and headlights built into the shot. And if I can hang on long enough, I'll wait for the street lights to come on and try and build those into the shot too. So try and make something that's quite dynamic, I think, from a, you know, a moving, uh, flowing photograph. The light has fallen sufficiently where I can think about getting some light trails on the moving traffic. Now I've got the shutter speed at 1.6 seconds, so it should give plenty of uh, movement in the, the lights there. But the problem that I've got is that the red lights seem to bunch up, but the oncoming traffic is free flowing. So I've got to wait until traffic here clears the lights and starts moving before I get any uh, red <laughs> light trails there. So it might be a mixture of left and right, join it all together later on. So I'm just going to concentrate now on getting quite a few uh, light trails and uh, the plan is that I'm going to try and merge them all together to get much more light trails than there actually is in, in reality. So I've got plenty of images there from the top of that bridge. So it's back home and let's see what Lightroom and Photoshop can make of it all. So I've got the images into Lightroom and uh, I preferred the latter 91 with a light trail one there. I'm going to open them up into Photoshop here and uh, first thing I do is uh, auto align the layers so that if there's any minor movement they brought together the two images and I'm just going to do a really crude um, mask on here to keep the class 91 but then bring in the darker image with the light trails um, behind that it's a really crude way of doing it but uh, it's relatively quick but obviously I'm just going over the locomotive so I'm just demasking the train there to bring it a little bit lighter and, uh, that'll do so save it and it should come back into Lightroom there it is and I can do a little bit of editing it's a long winded way around I could have done it all in Photoshop and Lightroom but I'm just going to do it this way so darkening up the sky and cooling it down I do like to put a, uh, a cooler um, filter on the, the sky and this road is too light as well so I'm just going to darken that down with a uh, graduated filter there that's about right and the train I do like these lights so I'm see if I can make something of those the carriage lights the warm lights so if I put a little bit of filter not filter uh, um, a brush on there 
I'll be able to lift the exposure and the colour temperature map, which will make those a little bit warmer. So uh, I've got the exposure up, a bit of highlights, brought the temperature up. Yeah, that's, it's brought it out as that a little bit. Now I'm going to select these light trail images now and the image that I've just edited and open that lot back up into Photoshop. So there's a all these layers will then open up into Photoshop and when they're all loaded in I'll select them and align all these. Add it all in. Yeah, I'm going to select them. There we are. Edit auto align it does its business there and what I'm doing here is applying a layer mask which is lighten and what that does any pixels that are lighter on the layer underneath are automatically brought through so what that's doing is it's it's really blending all the light trails for me without a great deal of work on that but I'm just Turning down the opacity on some of these because it's it's supposed to be a railway image and it's just a big light image at the moment so I'll have to do something with that. Then I'll just have a look at the train here look because sometimes when you do that you can get a, a lamp post or a light that you didn't really want and it you know, you've got a, a street lamp on the side of a train or something like that and it so just a, a look at that and it looks okay save it and then it should open up back into Lightroom and here we are it's coming and uh, I can do the final bit of editing on this now the train is just lost it's still too dark is that train got to... yeah that's it just... see if I can bring the exposure up of the, the train, so a radial filter just to make it stand out. It's, it's just getting lost in all these lights. I'm just not, I'm not feeling it with this image at the moment. So a bit of temperature, how much exposure can I get away with? Mm. Yeah, that'll do. But I, I can do to darken up those light trails they're just taking the your eye away from the train so I say it's a railway image so see if I can lose some of those but still retain the effect might have to crop this actually um, and I probably should have done the cropping to start with but we might have to do the cropping at the end I'm just feeling the train's been lost in the image so again I'll darken the surrounding and just see if I can make your the eye focus more on the train That's it, that's the crop. I'm gonna to have to do that, try and keep the roadway sort of as central as I can in the image. I don't want the lamppost to be too near the top of the image. And I think that'll do, do a little bit of minor tweaking there. Let's have a look at the highlights and the shadows. Now, this just shows me whether the blacks and the whites are, uh, at the extreme. I think that'll do. That'll do.
Right, so there we are. Not 100% certain about this one, if I'm perfectly honest. But if you let me know in the comments whether you think it was a waste of time or a decent <laughs> image, I'd appreciate that. And uh, until the next one, I shall see you on the next video. Bye.